What's up, guys? Hey, Good morning. Man, um, I was just thinking, you know, how incredible would it be that if week 18, instead of us, you know, or instead of us playing the Rams in the playoffs, Matthew Stafford does us a solid, beats the 49ers, and we get the two seed, and we have two home playoff games in Detroit. Corin, that could get that you the one seed. Be, that could get you the one well, seed no, if yeah. you happen Philly, to be Philly, Dallas Philly, and Philly, Minnesota. Philly, Philly. Well, Philly wins out. They still have the tiebreaker over us. No, no that doesn't changes, matter. Though. Lions no. win out. They get the two seed. Lions win out. And San Fran loses one. They get the one seed. Yep. Oh well, then even but better. your point then is still accurate. Yeah, seed, yeah. This would be incredible. Oh, I mean, if God. Stafford can do that for us, man, that would. And think of last year. It would have been Stafford playing, but he gets hurt. Baker comes in, does the best that he can. He loses for us. We don't make the playoffs. Stafford comes in, beats San Fran for us, and we get the one seed. It'd be like the ultimate salute, the trade off from you know, him winning the Super Bowl, us getting the one seed home home playoff games all the way to the Super Bowl. Man, that would be freaking incredible. It would Thank be, you, and it's really go beat him in the playoffs too. <laughs> it's not every every, every, every week we go through this where you know, six weeks ago it's like, man, the one seed's right there, and then ah, no chance. No. Hey, the one seed, man, we never know. It's right there. They're right? hanging around. They've got they've done enough to hang around. And yes, does it seem unlikely? that the commanders would beat the Niners? Of course. Does it seem a little bit more likely that, and and I would love for it to be a tie. All it has to do is be a tie. But if the Niners and the Rams could end the regular season with Matthew Stafford and a tie... That would be great. Be amazing. <laughs> that would be awesome. That'd be absolutely like, amazing. And we got to take care of our business too. But that game could have a lot of, you know, I know people were a still lot of two other weeks implications, out, right? Yeah. Of, of matchups. People write, oh, right now, you know, the Stafford would be coming to Detroit. Well, it depends on how, if a how we finish, but that right. game is probably going to have a ton of implications on where the Lions end up being seated and possibly yeah. where the Rams end up being seated. If, uh, Detroit Rams all over again. <laughs> oh, really you know how yeah, you're right. It would, it would like last would year we were rooting would, for them. It would be that all over again, just like Christmas Eve. Things how d- different this Christmas I Eve already, was in the last. I already despise even thinking about what that week would be like. What if the Rams came for a playoff game? <laughs> yes, I do. Just you that don't week want it? leading up to it. No, I, I would love it. Uh, just everything else that goes from along the, with uh, it. the outside I would going it. in. I would, the game itself would be I amazing. Wanna, uh, I don't so think about would this. you guys do a pregame spot with Kelly Stafford? <laughs> Doubtful. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> so Doubtful. super quick, back to what the caller said. If you look at the standings right now and the tiebreakers for seeding, Philadelphia has it over the Lions. Right now. Right now, right. yeah. But then the changes. tiebreaker priorities change if the Lions beat the Cowboys. Yes. Because the... The strength Philadelphia has the two right now on strength of victory, but if the Lions beat the Cowboys, you fall back to common opponents, which is a higher priority strength of victory. And the Lions, so if the if don't look at the stands and think the Lions win out, they don't get the two seed. They get the it's, two seed if they win out. Yeah, yes, a record against common opponents, and if they win out, they beat the Dallas Cowboys, which that would be the one separator because the Eagles played them twice. They beat them once. And lost to them, but the Lions would have obviously never lost to them because the common opponents were the Vikings, the Bucks, the Cowboys, the Chiefs, and the Seahawks. They lost to the Chief, the Seahawks. Well, so did we. The Cowboys. They Vikings won. beat them. Yeah. Well, Doesn't matter what the Vikings do. I was, never mind. I mean, you have you have scenarios right now. So if oh, you. Some, <laughs> if somehow the Lions did get to one seed, and I do the seven percent, that is where it's at right now. I really believe that's a pretty yeah. But it isn't impossible. Before last night, I thought it was impossible. And uh, you have scenarios where the Rams could go to Philly in the first round, a three-six matchup. Yeah, you know Seattle goes to San Francisco, and that's a division rival for the third mm-hmm. time of the year. Like this thing could get wild. So it, that's a yeah. I mean, that's why you know going back to Rieger's question, why I feel like they're contenders. I mean, you get yeah. in the playoffs. You know, it, it, let's just say you end up the two seed, right? You're taking on the seven seed. I mean, is there a guarantee that the three seed wins, right? If it's a it's a Philadelphia, you know, uh, Rams matchup or Seahawks, like I, I, I can't guarantee that the Rams, you know, don't have a shot in that game. Now you're looking at getting another back to back home game. You know what I mean? So even if you're the three seed, I mean, they're just the the possibilities. But Philly closes the season with. Arizona and with the Giants. So yeah, they're, they're probably going to win those games. But like you said, Gov, it goes back to strength of victory, which your wins over Dallas and even your wins over a 500 Minnesota team. 
are better are better than Philadelphia's last two wins. And if the Lions could get the two seed, obviously you just want the two home playoff games if they win the first one. But it also comes down to, I mean, it's going to be the Rams and Seahawks, it seems like, is the two wild card teams other than the Cowboys or the loser of the NFC East, mm-hmm. right? So which one you want? You want the Rams or you want the Seahawks? Seahawks own the Lions over the last yeah, four see, weeks, but I kind of feel the Lions are due. It's like a little PTSD with the Seahawks for some reason. I just might be a little PTSD with the Rams as well. Yeah, I mean, I would honestly, gosh, I don't know. I haven't really studied yeah. both teams. To say the, last the Lions couple years. are due is probably the understatement of the. Yeah, are think. they due against the Seattle Seahawks? Sure. Are they due in general? Absolutely. Are yes. they? Yes. <laughs> are they? You're probably right. Ninety-seven on the ticket. Hey, football. 